Welcome to my latest video where I check out the latest version of OpenAI's ChatGPT number four. A lot has been spoken about and written about GPT and its transformative capabilities, but does it really live up to the hype? Uh, I'm a tutor and I'm specializing in maths and STEM and I know a little bit of programming on the site. So I've decided to put ChatGPT through its paces. The animation that you can see on the screen right now was in fact using a Python-based animator called Manim, mathematical animation, Manim, um, but actually the code for it was generated by ChatGPT itself um, with a little bit of nudging from me, but that just shows you the sort of thing that ChatGPT can do. Anyway, in this video, I'll be asking GPT to write me some simple math problems. We're gonna start off with some really simple ones uh, and then I will try and solve them. Uh, what I want to know is are the problems that it poses soluble? Are they the right level of difficulty? And are they particularly original? Um, and we can see whether ChatGPT could make a good math teacher or at least a learning assistant. So let's go for the, uh, the very first problem. I've just got a couple of problems for the kind of elementary level, which I think will be quite easy. So the problem is, write me an original algebra problem that a 12-year-old could solve and give the output in LaTeX. So that's just formatting it properly. Uh, it shouldn't be a simple copy of an existing problem. Keep the solution hidden until I offer my own and then tell me if and how I should have got it correct. So let's have a go, see what it produces. Here's an original uh, problem for you. John has three times as many marbles as his friend Mike. Together they have a total of 48 marbles. How many marbles does each person have? Okay. Um, okay, that's pretty straightforward. It's kind of uh, even doing the writing in algebra for me. Um, I wouldn't say this problem is particularly original. This is just a classic standard word problem that could have been lifted from any, um, any high school textbook. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, I don't think I need to do any, any solution here. I think if you know your maths, you'll know what the correct answer is. So let's see if I give it an answer that kind of seems correct. So I'll say John has 40 marbles okay, and Mike has 8. So that's not the correct answer, but they do add up to 48. Let's see what it, um, what it says to that. There's, your answer is correct. Great job. So it's a very encouraging teacher. But then let's see what happens. Does all the maths correctly. It says, John has 36 marbles and Mike has 12 marbles. My apologies, I made an error in my previous response. I say, what was your error? Mm, your solution was correct. Here we go. So this is one of the problems of ChatGPT is it doesn't seem to have a particular strong grasp on reality if you say that you got it right and it got it wrong, okay, uh, it will agree with you. Okay, so uh, it doesn't seem to have a particularly strong grasp of arithmetic. So this is an interesting case in that it wrote a particularly good problem, but it wasn't very good at defending, um, defending itself when I gave it a wrong, uh, a wrong answer. Now, uh, let's just go for one more, one more simple problem. Uh, ask me to prove a high school level fact about natural numbers. Let's see what it does there. For any two natural numbers, A and B, if their sum is even, then either both A and B yeah, are both even or both odd. Very good, and it rephrases it. Okay, so we got the got the formatting slightly strange. Um, I think that's because it's trying to write in in LaTeX, um, but I think this is a perfectly good good problem. Um, once again, I don't think you need me to to go through the solution um, on paper. I think this is a really really good one. Okay, now let's see if once again I give it a slightly strange or incorrect answer. I say. Uh, maybe if I give an answer as if I were confused, I say, but the product of two odd numbers is odd. 
3 times 5 equals 15. So I've misunderstood. Let's see if it realizes that. Mm. Once again, unfortunately, it hasn't really yielded. Sorry, it ha hasn't really stuck to its guns. It's kind of yielded. I give it an incorrect answer and it's trying to, to work with me as opposed to fight me and say, no, you haven't done the problem. So this is one of the things that I think we should all be very, very careful about um, with ChatGPT is it's not very good at defending itself, even when it's right. Anyway, I think that's quite uh, quite an informative little video. Um, I wasn't expecting it to fail in this way with such simple problems. It's very good at posing the problems, but very bad at defending and working through the solutions. Thank you for watching.